Hi, my name is Jeff Bloomberg and I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at MGE. And this week's tip is a continuation of a series that I'm doing on the top six reasons behind overhead problems. And uh, if you've missed any of the prior tips, what you can do is you can click this little card on the right hand side of your screen and those will bring you to a playlist of the prior tips that you missed. Where I left off on our last video was we were going over the four reasons behind why payroll expense goes so high. Because that's the first, that's the big area, payroll, that tends to, uh, if I had to pick the number one, one thing, that tends to drive dental overhead or overhead of dental offices or actually a lot of medical offices for that matter, high. So we looked at reasons one and two, and this week I'm gonna be covering reasons three and four. So let's take a look at these. Reason three I mentioned has to do with uh, you have employees that are underproducing, one or more employees that are underproducing. And so let's take a look at this for a minute. You could have somebody that you're not getting their all out of, right? They're not giving you their all. That could be the best case scenario, all right? Maybe they could work a little harder. To worst case scenario, you could have somebody who's actively destructive to the business. That does happen. We all have our stories, right, where we've experienced or seen this before. And the analogy I like to give, I give it in seminars, is imagine you're in a tug of war, okay? You have your whole team and you're all pulling in the tug of war. It's kind of hard to simulate in this chair here. Uh, and let's say there's six employees. And all you're pulling, employees one through four are pulling to the best of their ability. Employee five has a coffee and they're looking at the rope and looking at you and kind of going twang, you know, playing with the rope. They're not really actively pushing back, but they're, they're not really doing anything. And employee six is pretending to pull when they're actually pushing, okay? Now the funny thing in those instances is if you were to take employee five and six and either get them to be productive or get them out because they're not performing, your, your work output would be relatively the same. It might actually be better because you don't have somebody actively pushing against the team in the case of employee six, or in the case of employee five, you don't have somebody who's just irritating everybody else because they're not working very hard. The four people that are there that are actually pulling could get more done without those two people there unless they were to shape up, all right? So you might find yourself in these situations. I always look into it when I'm looking into a, a high payroll situation. Do I have somebody there who not only is just not working hard, because that could be part of the problem, or do I have somebody there who's actively destructive or problematic for the business? That can happen, and it's easy to find. We've all seen these things before uh, where you have these types of instances. That's the third reason. Let's go on to the fourth reason behind payroll expense being too high, which has to do with employees being misallocated. And what do I mean by that? Let's say you have an office with one doctor and one dental assistant and three people full-time at the front. There's not enough for those three people to do to keep that one doctor and dental assistant busy, okay? It only takes one person to really do that. We could also take the opposite example. Let's say we have an office with one person at the front, six assistants, four hygienists, and two doctors. One person at the front is gonna have a hard time keeping all of those people busy, filing insurance, collecting money, uh, answering the phone, etc. So it's not that we have too many personnel necessarily, they're just in the wrong spot, okay? And as I mentioned you know, a video or two ago, I'm not a big fan of firing people unless they're just not productive and aren't really uh, performing very well. In cases like that with the misallocation, you might be able to reallocate a personnel or two, especially in the situation with all those providers and one person at the front, to even things out and therefore increase collections, which would then, as a percentage, make your payroll go lower. So that concludes the whole payroll concept. I know it's been long. Uh, we have now confirmed my wife's accusation after years that I do talk too much. But I hope it was helpful. And what we're going to be covering in next week's video, we're going to move on to our next category of the top six reasons, which is marketing expense. Other than that, if you like these tips, uh, we try to make them as informative for you as possible. Please subscribe. You'll get notified every time a new tip comes out. And I'll mention again, we do have two forms you can download that go along with this series. You can find the download uh, uh, link in the description for this video. And if you have any questions for us or want to provide feedback, please contact us here. You can find us online at www.mgonline.com or call us at 800-640-1140. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.